So you probably recently installed the Wavelink software, have your mic plugged in and you're like, what now? I want a clean audio and you heard of this thing is called plugins. And you're like, how do I set them up? And you also don't have that much time. So let's get right into it. Now we're in the Wavelink software and probably for you, it may not look like this. As you basically won't have this, 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 this. <laughs> But don't worry about it. Most likely you already have your microphone right here. And all we're going to do is just click down here for now. We want to get every plugin ready. These are the five plugins which I will use. So don't worry about it. I'll show you how to get them. First things first, you want to click on this plus button and then click on get more audio effect. This will actually open a web page. And we're interested just in a few things. And we have some quick links here. So we want a compressor. And let's open this in a new tab. Go back up. Next thing that we want is a noise gate. Let's click on it. Open link in a new tab. And we also want a DS a vocal processor slash DS. I'm going to pick this one right here. Now let's go in order. The rear plug is actually quite easy to install. You go down here. I know the website looks quite old, but don't worry. Um, basically, if you have a 32-bit machine, you pick the 32-bit. If you have a 64-bit, which most likely you do, pick the 64-bit. It's an installer. Click yes. You can click I agree. You can leave everything default. And literally just leave everything default. Should already install it in the VST plugins folder. Keep a notice of where this installs in case something goes wrong and I'll show you how to fix it later. So just click install, go through it, bam bam. I'm not gonna do it, I already have it. Now for the noise gate, um, there's the free version. I think we just stick with the free version. Basically have a Windows and a Mac OS version. So pick whatever your operating system is, in this case Windows, it's a zip folder, it's a bit below. And done, it's installed. Now for the DS, I'm gonna click accept all. There's the Pro and the free version. Free version is just, it has all you need. So just press download now. And you actually have to create an account. Let me oh, go over to offer, not now. You actually have to create an account and and you can use your Google account to log in, whatever. And you have this free product, which is a TDS Plus. It's the one I personally use. I'm just gonna click download. It's a zip file, that's it. Now, what are you going to do with those zip files? You are gonna open your Wavelink software backup and you want to click on the settings here. Now, once this window pops up, you want to go to audio effect. And I want you to copy this VST free plugins path and just double click and it will highlight it. Control C to copy it or right click and copy. Now you want to open your file explorer or whatever. And where you have the address, you want to paste this. Now also open your download folder. Use 7-zip or WinRAR. I have links down below to open the files. With the DS, what you want to do is just copy this folder. You can even extract it back here. And you see it actually has a Windows installer. So you double click it. You just click next, accept. You just click next, go with it. Or you can install it to the default path and then you open program files and you copy it over. Which I think it will be easier, but just it takes a bit more time. So I'm going to close that. And then the next plugin is the, the D gate. And here we have the VST free 64 bit. And you can just copy this and paste it in a VST free file like this like so and here i also have the ds and i believe i actually took it from program files because i went to where to install by default which is usually where your operating system is program files x86 techivation eds and you see the plugin is actually missing because i didn't even copy paste it i literally cut and paste it i have a lot more plugins which actually some of them I stopped using and I'm still looking into how to use them. But I think these five are just the bare minimum that you need. So now you'll have your DS, your D gate and your re plugins. Now, if you decided to copy and paste into the folder, your VST free files and they don't show up, make sure to press scan plugin folders and it will detect for new plugins. And you can also click show scan plugins and to show every single plugin you have. And as you can see, some of them, I do have them twice. So <laughs> now I should probably do a bit of a cleanup it's a bit messy and now to get the other two you want to click on the top here and this is the marketplace in the marketplace you have to log in again create an account you want to go to audio and then to audio effect once you're into audio effect you want to download noise removal and the equalizer do not touch the nvidia broadcast even if you have an nvidia card just don't do it no don't <laughs> just don't do it please do not do it i'm telling you i'm saving you so much hassle now we're going to click back here 
we click back on the plus and this time we're going to add from the list now usually it gives you two choices which is effect or fx dynamic my one you're going to go to elgato get the eq and the elgato noise removal activation remember it as the ds -er. you're going to go effect ds -er. Then you wanna go here and choose the recom and then dotic audio should be the D gate, which is the noise gate. Now that we have all these five up, let's go through them. Now I'm not too sure the order makes a difference. I know it makes a difference in OBS, but I'm not really sure in the Waveling software, but I will assume it's the same. You just click and drag and realign them. So first thing I recommend having the noise gate. Second, have the noise removal. Third, have the EQ. Fourth, have the compressor. And fifth, have the DS. And just so you know, if you click on the speaker icon, it will actually turn them off. And just to show you what every single one of it does, I'm going to turn the all of them off and then turn them on as we go so noise gate i have mine currently set at minus 40 and now i think the best is to imitate the environment the loudest it can be so i'm going to turn my air conditioner on you can hear my air conditioner you basically want to move it until if you don't talk nothing will get picked up of course as you talk the air conditioner will be able to hear it i'm not gonna turn it off and save your ears so i got our noise gate set up to minus 40 in my case next up i'm gonna turn the noise removal and this is the easiest one literally just turn it on that's it all you have to do just turn it on and you'll see that makes a difference because i'm gonna turn on my air conditioner and you're not gonna hear it which is already progress but the eq and i know what you're thinking when you hear eq you think it looks like this and it's like whoa what do i do no i got to actually make the eq look really simple i wouldn't recommend you to copy it and just slide around until it looks kind of like mine i mean you can it's definitely a good base and just tweak it a little bit move some to the left move some to up and down see what difference it makes and just so you know when you click you can actually see what it does so in this case 66 frequency 0 db gain quality 0 0.71 and you see what it does is rumble slash sub bass so in this case boom and warm you have this little book here which will actually show you how to do everything how to run bands change band type band pass and also you can click and see what every single thing does exactly honestly i have a lot to play with my eq still it depends on your voice it depends on your microphone so there's a lot to take into consideration for example i have a lot of nasal i would say <laughs> i wonder from where but if i bring this down it gets rid of it quite a lot if i bring it up it made me sound like i'm talking from my nose like <laughs> so i definitely want it somewhere down and actually i forgot to double click check where it is and that's why I want you to take notes, click on them and see, note every single thing down in case you lose it, something happens. So you have a backup. I don't know right now. I should have a backup. <laughs> I should listen to my own tips. So yeah, play around with the equalizer. Maybe copy this, play with the sliders. Maybe you don't want it to be as rambly. Maybe it's too warm. Bring it down. Sounds too boxy. Bring it down. Or maybe you want it a little more. It makes you sound empty. No, let's play around. It does take some time to master but it's definitely worth it. Now we have the compressor. This may look intimidating and this you can actually quite copy. Literally pre-comp 0 milliseconds attack, 3 milliseconds release, 100 milliseconds classic attack, ratio 4 to 1 in this case, knee size 0 dB, low pass 20,000 hertz, high pass 0, RMS size 5 ms. You can copy every single thing from here. What I would say makes big difference what you want to play with i mean every single one of them makes a difference to keep it simple i want you to play with the threshold and you see as i speak the maximum when i speak it's sort of around minus 10 db and i'm in the middle of this and for me that's a nice guideline of how loud i want to be and it shows in the output mix now if i lower it down the db you can see on the right and on the right i mean here this is the output mix the quiet i get because remember what the compressor basically does it, it takes the loud sounds and and the quiet ones and brings them somewhere in the middle this is your range your compressor range it brings them here within the range i said the range so many times and i think for voice what you want to aim for is something around minus six db as you can see it, when i talk it goes to minus six if i talk really loudly right now like ah and I scream, it's still minus six. If I talk really quietly and I whisper, oh, 
I go from quiet. Uh, it's still minus six. So that's what the compressor does. Okay, we have that turned on. Now the DS. This also makes a big difference, in my opinion. Because S's are so annoying when you hear them. And I have mine currently set at minus 34. You get an experiment. Now, if I turn it off, this is technically off. When I do S, you can hear it in quite sharp. And a sentence which I like to use, which is not seashells by the seashore, whatever, because I'm not that good with tongue twisters, is basically the six slippery slinky snakes slither sideways. And I bet that was painful. Now, if I turn it to minus 34 dB, and you're going to hear the difference, see six slippery slinky snakes slither sideways. I would say it makes a big difference. You definitely don't want it to have you too high, because if you start the sentence with an S, you're going to hear it. For example, I say C, and I mean C as in C, not the C. Um, what would happen if you have it too high? The S, the first S wouldn't actually come through. So you sound like you're saying E, E. <laughs> and I'm like, E6 slippery snakes, you know, the other S's are fine, it's just the beginning S. So I'll, I'll keep that in mind. And then again, I think output just keep it 0 dB, frequency range on high, actually sharpness and intensity, I think, and copy them. And again, there are more options sounding for the pro version. I don't know what to do, really. But I found this five to be good enough, and I hope this was helpful. So I'll have links down below also to every single plugins that I used so you don't have to go to the website or leave a comment if you need any help like if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and subscribe I plan to do more guides and tutorials going forwards see ya